Team leaders, I want to hone in a little bit more on the actual sharing of an event. I think this can be important. You can do the same thing with uh, with a topic, I'm pretty sure. Um, the same rules will apply. But not just the sharing of an event, but the actual um, approval of an event. So if my group was to share an event or a post with your group, then you as the leader of that group would have to approve that or it would never show up in your group so that's really important fact and so um, when I share a, a an event with your group you most likely will get an email notification if you've set those up right that's gonna say uh, but East P Ridge gospel community group uh, or uh, you know Redemption Church group or whatever would like to share an event with you you'll then have to click through to approve that so that that can show up in your group that's really important so I've already kind of put a test event for a tutorial video here I've edited all the different things about it um, now down here where we say allow this post to be shared and you select here share it with other groups and I'm gonna start typing in James Drive Gospel Community Group here. Now East P Ridge and James Drive Gospel Community get a lot of these tutorial events placed in their um, group so we apologize to them for that but again um, for the sake of this test I'm gonna share it I'm posting it in the East P Ridge Gospel Community Group but I am sharing it as well with the James Drive Gospel Community Group that's important and then I'm gonna publicize this do a, a private URL. You can do it publicly, which means it's publicly listed on the city plaza, or a private URL, which means it's not going to be publicly listed there on the city plaza. Not anybody will be able to just happen along and see the event. However, there'll be a URL that you can copy and paste, a web address that you can copy and paste that if you want to share it on Facebook, in a Facebook message or in an email or anything like that, you can do that. Okay, so now I'm ready. Again, I've shared with the James Drive Gospel Community Group, and I've decided, and you, do, you don't have to do this, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I've publicized it to a private URL on the City Plaza. Again, this is posting in the East P Ridge Gospel Community Group. Okay, now it is, it is posting right now as we speak, so you'll see that come up real quickly. I want to show you how to get to that public web address. Again, this allows you to share this with people who are not a part of the city. So if you're inviting someone to this event, you can go up here to this blue bar where it says this event is privately listed at. Click that link and you will see a new web page appear on the city plaza. To, for that event up here, see you have a web address here and you're familiar with how to copy and paste on your computer. So just highlight that web address, copy it, and you can paste it anywhere. Paste it into an email, paste it into a Facebook post, paste it into a Facebook message, a text message, wherever. And this is an actual branch of the city called the City Plaza that anyone can access whether they're a member of the city or not. So again, that allows you to invite quote unquote outsiders into your event so that they can uh, see the information about it with even if they're not yet a member of the city. So that's what you do with that. Now I'm going to come back to this event here. You see that it is shared and I want to share with you one more thing. I'm pausing this real quick. Okay, what I've done now is I've logged out of the Paul Bokel user uh, account on the city. I've logged into the Redemption Church user account on the city to show you um, how you approve an event that someone has shared with your group. And that is going to be very simple. You, you'll, you'll have gotten an email, hopefully, that you can just click through to do this. But if you haven't, when you're logged into the city, you'll see over here on your reminders a drop down that says sharing. And okay, so you can look here. It says test event for a tutorial video for James Drive Gospel Community Group has been shared. So you can show that if you want to. You can click this button that says show look at what it is see if it's something you want any part of here or want your group to be a part of and up here at the top you'll see who shared it with you from what group it was shared with you from and you can select accept or reject by clicking accept it will now be able to be seen in your group so this is really important and at any time you can come back into that event and click hide or reject if you want it removed from your group but that is how simple that is that's a very important feature so if you're wanting to have a shared event between two gospel community groups you're wanting to bring a different ministry team in to help your ministry team out whatever it might be um, this is a very important feature if you have any questions about it just let me know